split method and type that out. Okay, so we're going to start off with strip. And so I'm first going to update this string. And let's say somebody gives you some bad uh, input or you get something bad out of a database where it has uh, it's poorly formatted and has a lot of space before and after it and you really want to clean all that up. Strip offers a really nice way of doing that. So if I type in the variable uh, stir and then all I have to do is type in strip and print this out, hit run, and you can see it cleanly removes that space from uh, before and after it. So that's that's a nice thing and a pretty, uh, pretty cool way of uh, being able to clean up any data input. So uh, that is strip. Now split is a very powerful method and it's a way of splitting up any string into an array and it's actually very complicated where you can set it up to pretty much do anything you want you can split it up by character you can split it up and offset different characters uh, so that you can pull out any data I probably have only used it to its 10% capacity uh, so it is pretty powerful but I'm going to show you a few practical examples of things you could do with it. So I'm going to say stir.split and just go with uh, the, the built-in split method. So hit run and you can see that it converted each one of the words into an array. So this is awesome. So say that you have a program and you have a really long paragraph. So I'm going to copy this and give us a very big word or very big sentence and if you ask me to count all of the words in here it would definitely take a while if I was trying to do it manually so what would be a good way of doing that you know if you use the word uh, Microsoft Word it easily counts all of your different words that you have in a document things like that it's Ruby makes it really easy for you that, to do that even yourself because when we do string split here it turns into an array which means we can treat it like an array which means we can do something like this we can say stir dot split dot size print this out and instantly it told us there are 45 words in it and the way it did it is first it converted it to an array and then it went and said okay how many uh, how many words are in it or really it said how many elements are in this array and it just happened to be 45 which is how many words were in that long sentence so that's pretty cool now what if you wanted to drill down even more you can pass split a bunch of different values as arguments so what if you want to see how many letters there are if I pass in uh, these two slashes here hit run that you instantly tells you there are 229 letters in our string up here and if you actually want to see them all I'll get rid of size and you'll see what this array looks like hit run and you can see that what it did is it went and it created a array element for each single letter and you can see it also uh, included the spaces so when you pass in an argument like this where you have uh, two slashes then it's going to say just bring me back everything and make every single thing in this sentence its own uh, its own element in the array and so that's a pretty neat thing to do it's something you'll find is uh, uh, is very helpful as you build out applications because there's a lot of times where you may get a sentence or something somebody typed in and you want to very quickly count okay how many words did they type in or how many characters was that uh, Twitter is a great example of this they limit you to a 140 characters when you're uh, entering your tweet in so they have a validator in the system that looks and says okay how many 
letters or how many characters have they typed in. If it's over a certain amount, it's not going to let the tweet to be sent. So this is a way of being able to build out that type of functionality into your application.